Hello, this is Scott Pacino, editor of Telecoms.com here at 5G World 2018, and I'm talking to John Baker from Mavenir. So, John, why don't you start by telling us what you've been talking about at the show? Yeah, so the, the key feature of the show this year is really about the evolution or the, the, the revolution from 4G to 5G. Um, you know, yesterday at a keynote session, you know, really sort of talking about the steps of how to um, move virtualization into the networks. Um, and you know, when we talk about virtualization, we're really talking about the whole network being virtualized, apart from just just apart from the radio. So, um, you know, one of the you know, key areas for Mavenir is the virtualization of the RAN. Um, and um, you know, over the last year, we've been focused at really opening up the interfaces such that. Uh, operators can have uh, independent radios and independent software suppliers. So changing the whole ecosystem from you know, where it is today with walled garden uh, suppliers. So um, you, you know, it's a great opportunity for the carriers to really put uh, you know, virtualized networks together. Um, you know, one, of the, one of the areas that you know, is a sort of, we're starting to see at the show is a sort of a divide in uh, operators that want to implement virtualization versus those that are, you know, want an easy life and carry yeah. on doing things in the same way. And um, you know, what we're seeing is that you know there is a really, really a true divide starting to happen where you've got these operators that are want to pick up the challenge and they understand the the cost economics of uh, you know going in the virtualized world versus those that are saying, look, you know. I, the network I've got today is working well. I don't want to disturb it. You know, I want to stay with the existing technology providers, um, and, and it's those guys that are really going to lose out long term if you know if you don't take up the challenge of how to get cost out of the network. Um, yep. Then you know, long term, their customers and their business is going to lose out in terms of um, profitability, and, and that's really you, you know where Mavenir has sort of really been focused is about you know how to make operators profitable how to get software elements on common hardware in, in, in mobile networks such that um, you know, we can make these operators profitable. Okay, well that, that all makes sense, but let me be the skeptical journalist for a sec. Yeah, you're a vendor. Yep. Um, you've obviously got a sort of commercial interest in, in people sort of advancing um, their technological uh, position. Isn't there some validity in for those operators who are hesitant, who are perhaps waiting for other people to make the first move, who are, are not seeing the ROI? What, what would you say to those people? Yeah, I think I think you know there's certainly amount of proof proof in, proof in the eating, as they say. You, you, you know, and, and and you know, virtualization is not a new thing. Um, you know, it's really predicated on you know Intel and you know the chip manufacturers, you know, making computing chips faster and faster, so you can do more and more, but. Um, you know, virtualization is slowly eating into everybody's life at all, in all levels of telecommunication. And um, the days of custom hardware and bespoke software, um, you know, really are giving, you know, sort of at the end of the day, poor quality of service in terms of features functionality to the end user. So, you know, if you don't bite the bullet and start to become entrepreneurial, you just sort of get left behind. Fair enough. And, you know, you're optimistic. We, we've got, you know, I see it a lot, a lot of people telling me that they're, they're hesitant, that they, they don't see what the business case is. Are you optimistic that in the next, let's say, year or two, the, the whole virtualization thing's going to ramp up? Yeah, ab absolutely. You know, I've been in this business nearly 30 years, and you know, I think that this is the year that I, I think I've seen the greatest change of technology and, think, and, and thought process in terms of how to deploy networks. The fact that you know, I can now do in software what 10 years ago I had to do in DSP and, and hardware um, is going to significantly shape the industry, and um, you know it's really all, all happened because of the continual evolution of the microprocessor. You know, so if you, you know, 20, 30 years ago when you looked at the PC and said, well, you know, I could actually be running a whole mobile network on a single PC, everybody would have laughed at you. You know, yeah. but but today we're doing that. We're demonstrating that here at the show in uh, with British Telecom and Intel. Um, on their two booths, so you know it's here. It's going to happen. Um, it's just you know that we've got to get the operators over the hurdle to start to believe that they can really get their cost benefits and they can restructure their businesses uh, on the back of it. Okay, so uh, just to conclude, then, um, what message do you have for any operators who are still hesitant about the move to virtualization? Yeah, you, you know, at the end of the day, you know, we know that operators have got to make themselves profitable, and you know, technology is obviously a key part of that. So you know now is the chance to look at virtualization, uh, cloud ran, and, and and other you know other associated technologies and how it's going to improve the business business plan and improve the bottom line, and and Mavini, you know, is truly focused at network economics and making it happen. And so you know we're here to help. Great. Okay. Right. Thanks a lot. All right.